Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. You know, somebody next to Gennady Golovkin need to tell him to shut the fuck up. And the reason I say this is because reading the article on boxing scene, we see that uh, Gennady Golovkin has now went on some sports show and he basically made the comment saying that he would fight, rather fight Floyd Mayweather than Canelo Alvarez. And he feels as though that if Floyd Mayweather comes back, he shouldn't fight Manny Pacquiao because the first fight was so boring. He should fight him, Gennady Golovkin. Now, this is the stuff that detractors of Gennady Golovkin are talking about. You go back to the Andre Ward situation where Andre Ward wanted to fight Gennady Golovkin. But Gennady Golovkin didn't want to come up and wait, right? But he wanted to come up and fight Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. at the full-fledged 168. But he told Andre Ward he would have to cut weight and come down to 164 if they would even have a talk of a fight. And a lot of Triple G supporters are saying that, hey, man, Triple G is doing the right thing by not chasing Andre Ward because Triple G needs to stay at 160 pounds and unify the titles, something since Bernard Hopkins hasn't been done, right? And now Triple G, whom will be the mandatory defense for Canelo Alvarez if Canelo Alvarez defeats Amir Khan in May. He would then become the mandatory challenger, which he's now been for two years now. And I find it funny. Champion after champion after champion has found a way to get away from Gennady Golovkin through either paying him step aside money, through either working out some sort of deal with the WBC, whatever, man. You know what I mean? But however, according to the Triple G's camp, they're not waiting no more. And after May, either Canelo has to see him or give me your belt. One or the other. But anyway, let's not get too far ahead of it. The thing is, Gennady Golovkin now, he fights Canelo Alvarez. But Canelo Alvarez requested to Gennady Golovkin, if we was to fight, it got to go down at 155, right? And Canelo has a serious problem with that. I mean, Gennady Golovkin has a serious problem with that. He wants the fight to occur at the full-fledged 160-pound weight limit, which if you are a true diehard boxing fan, you should too. But the thing is this. Now that Gennady Golovkin, which is this is not the first time he said it, but I, I'm just getting tired of hearing it now. Now Gennady Golovkin is running around saying that he want to fight Floyd Mayweather. You got a problem with going down to 155 pounds to fight Canelo, but you will, will, be, will be willing to more than likely go to 154 pounds to fight Floyd Mayweather. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the hypocritical talk that we always hear coming out of the Gennady Golovkin camp. You cannot say that you will fight one guy. You don't want to fight one guy at one weight. and But, oh, you'll fight this guy because he's smaller and you feel like you have an advantage. Oh, I'll fight Floyd Mayweather at 154, a lesser weight, but I won't fight Canelo Alvarez at 155. Ladies and gentlemen, don't get it twisted. I don't condone him fighting Canelo Alvarez or any other fighter for that matter, fighting at 155 pound catch weight for the WBC world title. Don't get me wrong on that. But the fact still remains, you're willing to go to a lesser weight to fight Mayweather? This is perfect ammunition for the Canelo camp when Oscar De La Hoya and Canelo Alvarez go to the Gennady Golovkin if they get past Amir Khan. Go to Gennady Golovkin's camp and say, hey, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk terms. The first thing is going to come out of the Canelo camp is we wanted that 155. And don't tell us you won't do it because you just said you'll go to 54 to fight Floyd Mayweather. Sure, no weight was given in that article, ladies and gentlemen, because I know a few of you will point that out. But however, we do not see Floyd Mayweather coming up to 160 pounds to face no Gennady Golovkin. That ain't happening. All right, that ain't happening at all. I don't even see Floyd going to 155. If Gennady Golovkin is going to fight Mayweather, if that was even remotely possible, Floyd is going to drain the hell out of Canelo. We all know that. And he is A-side, so he will get what he wants. And if Canelo feels he can make weight to face Floyd at 54, there ain't no excuse. I repeat, no excuse. 
because you just put your foot in your mouth for you not to fight Canelo at 55 because you're going to use the whole Floyd Mayweather as Floyd Mayweather, you got money, blah, 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 blah. You're not going to do that with Canelo? If Canelo and Gennady Golovkin face off, that won't be the biggest fight possibly of this year or next year or whenever. So you're going to make money if you fight Canelo. You can't use that. You, sir, have put your foot in your mouth for the last time. You better bring that hating ass Abel Sanchez out and keep him as your spokesperson. Because now that you have said that and called out Mayweather, <laughs> dude, Mayweather, first, if, if, if we all know Mayweather the way we all know Mayweather, first thing that's going to come out of Mayweather's mouth is you beat Canelo first and then you come see me. Right? And said that he's already been instructing Gennady Golovkin to go and beat Ward. You know what I'm saying? But I'm pretty sure Floyd Mayweather is going to make that fight, any fight that he's involved in, extremely profitable. And if Gennady Golovkin defeats Canelo Alvarez, then Floyd may even give this thing a second look, as weird as it may sound, ladies and gentlemen. But he's going to instruct Gennady Golovkin to face Canelo. And then if you get through Canelo, then come see me. That's Mayweather, That's the Mayweather way. You know what I'm saying? Because this particular time, I mean, yeah, Gennady Golovkin is getting more popular and popular by the month, but I don't think he's at that level yet. We we seen what happened between him and Lemieux when they were on pay-per-view. It flopped. Though, in my opinion, I thought it was a good showing given that it was Gennady Golovkin's first pay-per-view. But to most, it flopped. What, they did a hundred and something thousand? I don't even think they did 200,000. I don't remember. But it just flopped. And so, Floyd has the A side. Floyd will be the A side. He will use that. You're not popular enough right now, dude. But if you beat Canelo at 55, then, because that's what they're going to ask for, then we can see each other. So basically, Gennady Golovkin just put his foot in his mouth for the 30th time. You know what I mean? And there are going to be people attacking Gennady Golovkin from all sides, from him running his freaking mouth. You know what I mean? Someone needs to shut the dude up, sit down, just worry about fighting. Don't speak. Simple and Simon. So he's going to have to answer some future questions, ladies and gentlemen, and rightfully so. Until the next video, Main Man, Main Man. Don't forget to subscribe. Twitter, Main Man 511. Facebook, Main Man, Main Man. Boxing Forum, Google Plus, Main Man, Main Man. I'm telling you, man, the dude just don't know when to stop talking, man. You know, before, I think before he asked... Ward to come to 64, he said he'd go to 68 and face Chavez Jr. Dude just talks too much. If anybody ain't told Gennady Golovkin, dude, your slip is showing. To the next video, peace out.